What up, boys? Girls, welcome back to the channel. Where we do shit, Colts way. Today, uh, we're gonna put this piping kit on that, that I've got. Uh, kind of like at the end of a three-part series. You know, the first part, I put the uh, block-off plates on, the EGR, and then I put the CCV uh, reroute delete on, and now it's gonna be the actual piping kit. So, you'll see all the parts involved when we do it. But um, the cool thing about this, this piping kit is, um, you know, I'm all about saving a dollar, just a good old boy like everybody else, but uh, I'm not one of them rich dudes. Um, so I try to, you know, this 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 piping kit is like maybe a little over a thousand, um, but it comes with a block off plates and a CCV reroute. I mean, so you go all buy that all the end of it. Usually the piping kits are 13 to 1500. And then you gotta buy the other stuff yourself. But uh, this kit's budget friendly. So before the video starts, we, we finna say that. But uh, let's let's start going over to the truck and um, so the first thing I think I'm gonna do is is take off um, the intake and get that box out of the way. I mean everybody's done that before. To take this, you just take this off that screw and then you just lift, turn the four little like there's four like little clamps. One, two, three, four. I did that on the on another video. So I mean if you need to figure out how to do that, but it's real damn simple you take this this off and then you unclip the four things and it pulls right up so i'm gonna do that well i'm sorry you've also got to take this sensor out i did this on the other video too i can't even remember how i did it but i think it was maybe yeah so you just push up on this part right here and pull out so i've got to get this off and then i got to take this off and transfer it to my new pipe but we'll do that later all right this uh this was a seven millimeter i just used that and then like i said i unpopped those and pulled the clip and it just comes right off uh, that shit's simple so we're done with that all right so when you got that out of the way you pull your filter out i already did it so we just discard that then i've never took this off before so i don't know but i see one bolt there and there's another bolt well you can't see it because it's kind of dark but there's another bolt right there it's the same size seven or, or it's an eight millimeter i think so i'm gonna take them two bolts out and then i don't know if it's gonna lift out or not but if not then there's some more bolts but those are the only ones i see right now okay so i did what i always do i lose my ass and just start ripping well it pulled up so there's a uh Sheesh. anyway i gotta get this on the back of it this wire here is connected to, to it I might have to do that off camera with a screwdriver. But basically there's a clip on that corner of a little push tab and one on that corner too. On the, down there on the bottom. You see that thing down there, that one in there? Same as that hole right there. Now what's got it two blocks is this on there. So I gotta take that off. All right, I had to get this little pry tool because I did that. I can't do nothing with my right hand. I mean, that cut don't hurt, but this, my fingernails ripped open. I, from the yesterday, and I, I'm just, I'm feeling like a damn handicapped. Anyway, that, that's out of the way. So you see, it had a tab here, another one on that side right there. And they just went uh, here and there. So the only two bolts was here and there. And then you just rip that shit out and pull this off, okay? All right, now that that's all out of the way, you know, this is open. Uh, the next thing I'm gonna do is take this, I don't know if it's a charge pipe, I don't know what the hell it's called. Like, I ain't no decent mechanic, I'm taking this pipe off. Um, and then you see, there's like a, see that little O-ring in the back? It goes up and then flat and then up. You gotta get like a flat head in there on both sides and like push up. So I'm gonna get me a screwdriver. I don't, I don't have two long flat heads. I got one long flat head and one long uh, Phillips. So that's what I'm using. But I'm gonna stick it down there and pry, pry them both up. And then I'm gonna loosen this end. But on this kit, like I said, it's not no $1,500 kit. It's still a damn good kit, but you've got to reuse these boots on this one. So I got to reuse this boot and I'll have to reuse that boot down there. But all the other ones, well, it, it, all the other pipes will have new boots. So I'm gonna loosen this shit, stick my screwdrivers in there and try to pry it up. And we'll pull this pipe out the way. So another flathead. So I think you got to put one up under there and maybe the other up under here. Like I said, I don't know. Maybe you just wedge them down. 
Okay, that looks up. That's up. Alright, looks like I got it loose. I, I ain't exactly sure why it ain't coming out though. I don't know. I don't see another clamp down there. So I thought. Yeah, okay. Hey, right, Colt, just pull it with your purse next time. So now I got that loose. I gotta move my camera. Alright, so I'm I ain't having too much luck. I for some reason I unloosen this. I can't get this sucker off. This inner, I think it's inner cooler. I don't know. I ain't a mechanic. I can't get it off of this. So what I'm gonna try to do is loosen it right here. Pull this, pull this back because I gotta reuse these on this kit anyway. So I know I can get that end off. So that end got I pushed it, it got caught back on. So I'm gonna take this and then I'll bend the pipe up and do the screwdriver thing and pull it out. But I don't know if I can do this yet or not. I'm just gonna try leaving this on here because, like I said, I ain't having no luck getting it off it's like stuck on there i don't know i don't want to break it because i got to reuse these so this is this is what i'm thinking i need to do we'll find out all right so i got that loose and then now i'm going to do the two screwdriver things i did a while ago and look up in there it's all wet with oil and stuff but i think that's i think maybe that ccv we out fixed that like i said i don't know i don't know how to do none of this stuff I'll just take y'all along for the ride and it always ends up working out. So let me do the screwdriver trick. I ain't gonna show that again. Next thing I show, this pipe's gonna be in my hand. Success. So now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take, these are all eight millimeters and these are these bigger ones are 10. So one, two, three, four. There's a bunch of them. I don't know how many there is. I'll try to, so this got to come out this one this one the ones on this black piece right here they're not going to come out all the way i think they stay in these bolts they're going to unthread all the way you'll have to grab them um there's a bunch of them see this 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 ah, see on this dipstick right here this not this one but i think it's this one this one's connected to that upper intake part this manifold whatever this is so i gotta take that out um see this sensor right here i'm gonna have to take that out and then you'll want to um you'll want to get some this is this trend it's like a, it's like one of these that was in the um intake box i'm gonna have to pry that up over here um there's another bolt right back there another one right there with a cap on it another one to the side of it so there's one two three on that side i think there's three on this side four up here i don't know exactly how many there is like i said um, we're doing this together, but we're going to start taking, I'm going to start taking all these loose until I can jiggle it and know that I can get it out. And then when we get it set on the ground, we'll go over everything about what all we took loose. So let's do it. I'm just going through here. Like I said, loosening them all that I can. Uh, these ones, they don't come out, but, uh, I'm going to have to get some sort of other kind of ratchets and extensions as well. Um, to get back there and when i get to a hard one i'll probably show you but we'll see what we can do right now first we just gotta get this big monstrosity out of here okay actually i'm jumping the gun a little bit but you can loosen those so you gotta take i gotta take this pipe out too it goes down in here and 90s into there so i'm gonna undo this sensor right here i can figure out how to do it with my one finger yeah take that out pretty sure that's gonna have to pull out uh, get that out of the way this was for I don't know what this, this is when I deleted the truck out and plug this um, so I'll probably loosen this that way I can get down there there's another hose clamp down there and I see this got this little ring here again to come off I'm not like I said, we're going to do this together. So let me let me loosen this, get this pipe out of the way, because this is going to be replaced anyway. So let's do that. All right, so I, lo I loosen this strap right here. I unplug that plug. Um, I can't always turn this light on. See, go, see that clamp down there? Uh, see if I can get y'all a better view. Yeah, see that clamp right, right, right there? I got to loosen that. 
and pull all that off as well. So then that should get this whole pipe out of the way. So let me do that. Like I said, I loosened this one. It should just come off. I'll do it. I might have to use two hands, but loosened it. I'll loosen that down there, pull this pipe out the way. All right, so I pulled it off here, reached down there, pulled it off down there, and pull it out. See, that's what it was on down there. So I don't know why this one wouldn't come off very easily, but I ain't jacking with it. So now that's out of the way. Now I'm going to go back and try to... Okay, I don't know if y'all can see this or not. So, see those bolts that are holding the dipsticks onto this big black piece? I got to get those out. So it's it's that one, and there's another one right there under it. Um, those got to come, come loose. Uh, there's one, I think, right right there it's got like two nuts on it it's got to come off um like i said when i get this sucker out of here we'll we'll go and go over where all the nuts and bolts are but i'm still finding them myself okay we got a bolt right there one back there and this one right here it's got that uh plastic stuff on it i just gotta pull that off i think there's gonna be one more but i don't i don't know yet then I already took, I took this off of right here, and then there's another one of these right back here holding this top sensor on. I've got to get that out too. Can't really get a camera in there, but in order to get to get these ones right here, I'm gonna use this wobble socket like I always do. And I probably have to do it off camera because I don't even know what. Anyway, I'm gonna use this wobble socket and get these these loose right here. So in order to save some time i will shut the camera off i'm just showing you what i'm doing all right this one i got that long extension on here i really thought i was going to strip the head on this one it come off a couple times but i just had to hold pressure down real good and twist at the same time it finally broke loose this one you know i pulled pulled this thing off right here and now i'm probably just gonna have to use a wrench to get that off i don't know what size it is it looks smaller but i've got to do that too so he's trying to Keep y'all posted. Looks like, okay, that, that, that's already loose. So that I still have to pull this thing, one of these out, and then pull that sensor off. Just trying to find the nuts, I mean the bolts right now that are hard to get to for me. So that's what I had to, do, had to use. So. I gotta pull that clip off the back so it's loose from this. So we got these four. There's also one right there and another right there, another right there. Uh, those should be all the ones on the top. And then it's the, the two, or, two or three down by the dipstick and we got that side over there, I'm pretty sure. But if that ain't all, we'll just keep searching until we find it. Okay, so. So we got those those up there on the dipstick. I think the bottom two got to come out. But in order to get the one on the bottom right, I think I have to take the top one out to move the dipstick over. There's also another one right up there behind that. So that's right behind the fuel filter, as you see. So I'm going to work on getting getting all those bolts loose. And we'll, uh, we'll start back up after that. I'm going to have to use the extension and that universal socket like I do all the time. But just bear with me and we'll get them bolts loose and go from there. All right, so I got this one out. It was um, it was right there. And then I got, I, got, I got this loose. I got to take this one out in order to move the dipsticks over. The dipsticks are in the way to, of getting to one of these that I need to get to. So now that that's how these dipsticks, can, it can, well, yeah, it can move over a little bit because I got to get to to that one right right there, and the way it sits, the dipstick's in the way. Now I can, now I can see. I, if y'all can see, I can lift it up and move it out of the way and get my. But I, I didn't use no extension or nothing. I had to use these small, just regular size socket uh, to get back there. So now I'm gonna get get that one under under this. Now that's out of the way, and we'll start again when that's done. All right. Now this one behind that dipstick, you are gonna have to use. Uh, a wobble socket to get back there. Once you got it up like this, you can do it. I'm gonna just do it off camera. I just wanted to show you. You got to move 
this one over some, okay? And then you get your wobble socket in there when you do it and you can take that off. All right, so see when you got that off, you can just, it's, see how it just got, it got lifted up off of that nut right there. Now then you gotta take that off as well. So now those are out of the way, I can get to that. I'm gonna do that off camera. All right, and that one, that was, that was, that was right there. It's this, and it's a 12 up here. It's gotta get a 12 for some reason. And it's the same size, it's bigger. Now there's one more back behind the fuel filter. I need to loosen as well. All right, we got that. I gotta get that one behind the fuel filter. And also uh, that one right there. So let me get those. All right, now these bolts will come out. Uh, I'm sure there's more. Just don't know where yet. All right, so you see those two pipe clamps back there? I'm gonna undo the farthest back one. There's no need to undo the other one because if I do the undo the farthest back one, I, when I pull it off, it'll come right off that turbo. So I can get to it from right here. See right there? So I'll be able to get to it right here. I'm not gonna be able to hold my phone or hold this GoPro and do it at the same time, but just know I'm loosening that back strap, okay? Okay, as you can see, I got my impact with that little flexible thing I use on that clamp and I loosened it with the little flexible thing. So now it should be, when I pull it out and everything, it should be able to come right off the turbo. So latte 30. Now I'll set the camera up and I think I got all the bolts. I think I got everything. Now I can just like lift up on it. We finna see. Okay, I forgot, I forgot one. I was over here looking, so I got, I got that one way back there. I got this one up here, and but this one that this uh, little thing was was sitting on, I gotta I gotta get this off real quick. So I think that after that I'll be good to go. All right, and I had to use that long socket with the 90 on it or that U joint thing on it. Okay, so after some yanking, I should have known because I should have went over there and looked at the bolt holes on the the intake or the pipes or whatever but something nobody shows your ass you know there's one two three and then there's another one way in the back that you can only feel i'm gonna see if i can get my gopro in there and just maybe show you so there's another bolt somewhere back in there on both damn sides i gotta get to there ain't no way i can film that but just know it's you know you go in there's one on the far right it's pretty much parallel to that on the other side. I don't know what my GoPro's getting at, but that should be showing it. So, I'm going, for fuck's sake. Okay, I'm still filming. Sorry, I thought my damn GoPro done was on photo mode. But, anyway, so, yeah. I don't know how I'm going to film that. I So, I'm just going to do that. It might take me a while, I'll tell you how much of a pain in the ass it was, but I can't film it. So I'm just trying to, there's one there and there's gonna be another one just like that on the other side. Then this some of it should lift up out of here. So wish me luck. All right, so it really wasn't that, that bad. You can move this over a good bit. And then what I did is I got that big long extension with the universal or the U-joint thing on it. And it, it's a, what is it? It's, yeah, it's eight millimeter. And I had it out here and I broke it. And once I broke it loose, I went back there with my hand. See, I'm touching it right now. And I just loosened it the rest of the way like that. So I'll see how hard that side is and get back to you. All right, so same type of thing. I got it back there. I'm just gonna try to, to break it. Probably slid off. But anyway, I'm gonna have to use two hands because I gotta push down on the long extension while I twist at the same time or else it's gonna strip the head. But you can get back to it real easy. You can come in from this side. I just went right down there and you can actually see it when you go from the side and you just drop it down on there. But you gotta use two hands because I gotta push down on the, on the extension and twist at the same time. If not, it's gonna strip the head. So let me just do that real quick. All right, that long extension wouldn't work. I had to just use a regular extension with a, uh, eight millimeter deep socket and now it's loose and I can 
I can get get the rest of it by hand. So let me loosen that off. But don't waste your time with no extension. Just I found on this job, you know, all the other jobs, you got to use a lot of damn extensions and stuff. This job, it ain't. You got to like get your hands up in there. See, I'm. I got cuts everywhere from yesterday, but these are new cuts. It, damn, you can't work on nothing nowadays. But you 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 got to use the actual small tools and little shit to get in this one. This one's a kind of a pain. I ain't gonna lie about it. All right, I'm gonna loosen that, and then we should just be able to lift that some bitch out. And I need to hurry because it run out of daylight. Okay, so I don't know how this comes out. I watched one guy's video because, like I said, I don't know how to do none of this crap. I just do it as I go. But he pulled this bottom part out first, so maybe that's what I'll try to do. Now that them bolts in the back are lifted, I got all this room for activities. Now, I can just move this up. Probably supposed to be a little bit more jump up than this, but damn, we done it. So let me put this down on the ground and then. What don't I have? Uh, apparently, I'm still not loose enough all the way somewhere. I don't know where. That side's all the way up. Gotta be back here. Man, I don't know what the... I really don't know what I'm stuck on here. Trying to figure it out. Okay. It's just there ain't no much room right here. <laughs> uh, come on, man. Uh, what is it? Stuck on. Oh yeah, just drop all that shit in the turbo, you dumbass. Oh my gosh. All right. All right, I saw some shit fall down in that back hole over there, so I need to look in that hole. But look at all that room for activities now. Shit, son. Hell yeah, I get that bolt fell down there. Now we can start getting this shit done. Heck yeah. All right, let's pause it. All right, so remember I told you I saw something fall down there? See that, it's part of a zip tie. I need to grab that. I'm gonna vacuum all that out. This is my high idle wire. I need to reattach it somewhere. But I'll get my vacuum, vacuum that out, grab my zip tie part in there. And now we can start ripping and rolling, son. All right, if you, if you ain't got one of these Milwaukee battery or vacuums, you're missing out, but I use this thing all the time. Yeah. All right, getting a little ahead of myself. I'm gonna do some editing and I'll do this before. But this little sensor right here that's on the stock intake, you gotta take those two screws out, okay? And then all these screws are gonna come with it, but there's two that are smaller than all the other ones. So what you're gonna do is you've got to take this out. It's probably only gonna fit one way. 
the way it's orientated. But it goes in here, and then that way you can plug it back in on your truck. Also, your intake box right here, you see? This is how it, this is how it was sitting in the truck. Like this is the passenger side. So this little rubber grommet right here, I gotta get this off of this somehow. I'm probably just gonna cut this part off where I can pull, pull this off, because this rubber grommet has to go. I wonder why it was so loose. This rubber grommet's gotta go back in that hole, okay? So that way this goes in there tightly and it can't be wobbling around. So I'm gonna do all this off camera. I, I think y'all know how to, I mean, we'll just have, I'm gonna, like I said, I'm probably gonna just break that off with some clients or something. I'm gonna take these screws out, put them in this. That way I can plug the thing back in. I don't think that needs to be on film. So once we get that, I'll slide it into the turbo and we'll roll. All right, first thing I'm gonna do just put the intake on. You're going to know which one the intake is because it's going to have that long, sticky, pointy thing that, that holds it down, okay? So that's the end that goes to the turbo. That's the end that this filter is going to go on. Comes with this, with this filter right here, okay? Um, but you need to find the, the biggest one of these in there. It comes in this box here. They're all the same size besides like this one. We don't need that right now. And this one, I don't even think I use this one because I use the factory thing, but this is for the intake. And it comes with all these clips right here. And you're also gonna need this thing with the biggest bolt. This bolt's bigger than the others. Okay, you'll need that along with this. So let's bring all this to the truck. Okay, here's your clamps. They got a nut on one end. It looks like, looks to be a 10 millimeter nut take that off or you and then it then it allows you to open this thing you're gonna have to open it to go around these all right maybe the other ones maybe there's two that are bigger than this I don't know if this one is gonna fit so yeah let me go look and see if there's some bigger straps in this <laughs> All right, yeah, so here's all your straps. These two are gonna be bigger. These are gonna go on the intake. So you need the bigger ones. I didn't know that until just now. So let's see if I can set this camera up. Looks like they're still eight millimeter. So maybe I, I'll be able to just, yeah, that's what daddy likes right there. Well, I can put this on the intake first. Bear with me guys, I'll just try to Do it as we go. So, I wonder if I should put it on the turbo first. Yeah, let's put it on the turbo first. All right. So put that right there. We'll slide this around. I don't know if y'all can, hopefully y'all can see. I really didn't know where to, maybe I can do it and just lean over it. All right, so I wiped the turbo off with paper towel a while ago. Damn, I'm gonna lose everything I got up on this thing. All right, so. I bought some silicone sp spray. I don't know that I'll need it. That's on there pretty good. Damn, there goes my freaking ratchet socket in the damn winch. Okay, so I'm gonna have this facing up this way. Just like that. That's on there as, as far as I can. Well, I wonder. Yeah, I think that's on there good enough. I can tighten this later. Okay, I'm just gonna get it on there. It's close to the, right about. Come on, it's hard to do it one-handed. Come on, you sucker. Right about there. So I'll just tighten it a little bit. All right. Now, the intake can go, we'll go up under this for now. I'll probably do a reroute kit for this eventually. Let me get the intake. You think I'm 10 again, jumping up and down this son of a bitch. I ain't in shape. I mean, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. 
All right, so I, I got that thread in there. I got this off the intake. All I did was take a pair of dikes and just cut it. And this, I'm gonna probably have to finagle that in there somehow off camera with two hands. So it sits in there flat, get a flat flathead screwdriver or something, push it down. But I'm gonna do that off camera because I can't get it in there without, without using two hands. So that after that, this will go in there and it should yeah should tighten it down real nice so let me get all that done all right got it in there now this goes in there now it can't come out so now we'll get the intake i'm gonna put it over top of this um we'll get the intake in there do it like that and then roll all right so got that plastic down does it break now? So this is come on, bruh. Come on, I want to be able to see. Alright, so take this down. Just slide it in there all the way. And then bring the intake down. Let it fit in that part we just put. Now I can tighten. Let me loosen this. Now I should be able to, just got a little OCD. I want it to be both the same orientation. Now I'll tighten that. Boom, son. All right. So, all I got left to do now for the intake is find the sensor, wherever it's at, over here. Plug it in down there i'll have to do it off camera because i got to look to see and then this nut goes in here so that's it let me get all that done. all right all that's done got that tightened down plugged in right there now i'm going to do the y pipe okay so you can see on this one it needs a gasket on this kit you've got to use the one that came from the factory okay you need a gasket on this one too they'll be like this but uh sorry about my nose it's running i can't help it but you've got to take take these gaskets off and you'll reuse those so i'm gonna i'm gonna transfer those gaskets over so let's do that and then you know it comes with it comes with eight bolts you're gonna need four for each end of the y pipe part so these four bolts right here this will be for another sensor but these just These will just go in there like that. You get my drift. I'm gonna move the uh, gaskets over. All right, so on this kit, you see how this is cut out right here? And this has this little nipple on here. There is, it's not cut out on here and you've got to use the same O-rings. So just get you a pair of dikes and you're just gonna clip the end of it so it can fit in there. Don't cut the bitch in half because you'll have a big, a big boost leak. So let me see if I can kind of get on camera what I'm, what I'm trying to tell you how to do so you just get it like this don't cut it in the middle just kind of cut just enough of it off now it should squeeze down in there so I just need to put that part on the video okay now you've got to Remember this part? You gotta get this part of this sensor out right here. Okay, so we're gonna do that real quick. You don't use the same. So you got that up, okay? And then when you got that up, you got this long piece with the, with the wide part on it. It's gonna go in like this, all right? So if it's sitting down, it's going to have to go. I think this will work just like that. And then in your kit, you'll have this piece right here. This one other small one that's not like the other bolts. And you'll put that in there and just thread it down. So, and then that'll plug in. It's still on the truck connecting. You just plug it in there, okay? All right, boys. So we know 
on my channel, I, I'm truthful with everybody. So before we get too deep into this install, I, I'm gonna show you something that I did that, that y'all don't need to do. So um, I'm gonna put this right before I start doing it on the video, I'll have to go back and edit it. But um, this screw here where the pipes bolt back into it, there's eight bolts you know that we took out. The left side, back left, you know, I was, the threads in, in this are aluminum. So when you're screwing it in there, you know, just be careful. You know, I, I only was only doing it one handed cause that's all I could get back there. But I had it on my thumb and I pushed it. And you know, when it's, you don't over tighten it. When it's snug, it's good. Don't try to get an extra quarter turn, none of that. Cause you're going to jack it up. So basically I tightened it too much and I, and I broke the aluminum threads in there and, I, and I'm going to show you. And I'm headed to um, a, a shop around here and going to ask them what they do. What I assume they're going to do is have to drill it out and put a, um, a Healy coil in there. So it, it looks like a spring, but it becomes your new threads. So they'll drill it out and put that in there. And then my bolt would then screw into that. It's a H-E-L-I-C-O-I-L -I -I is what I think it is. I don't know. I'm not a mechanic, but I'm truthful with everybody. And, you know, most people would edit this out of their video. I'm not, I'm not doing that because I don't want it to happen to y'all. So just don't over tighten it. And I'm going to show you if I can do it one handed, exactly what I'm talking about. So see, this is, these are the threads. When I took the bolt out, I said, damn, what the hell? So I took the bolt out and, you know, you can see that my threads, I, I didn't cross thread it. I just over tightened it. And when I over tightened it, the threads inside busted. So this is the, the threads inside there. Yeah, my hands are clean. I've washed them a hundred times. It, it, it just, it ain't coming off. So I just want to put this in the video because a lot of people aren't going to do that, man. And I, I don't claim to be no mechanic. I just figure shit out on my own. And then I try to help somebody so they can do it on their own if they want to. And I'm, I don't hide anything. Y'all know that I'm not hiding nothing. So, and I'm taking it to a shop right now to see if it's something, you know, I, I'm gonna ask if maybe I could film when we do it. If not, you're just gonna take my word for it. And depending on what the price is, I, shit, I still might do it myself. But before we get too deep into this part of the video, this is what happened to me. I, I'm just, I'm being honest with y'all. So I'm gonna go down here and see what they're gonna say. And I'll get out on my truck and show you. Um, Trying to make this as fast as I can because I don't want the video to be way too long. But truck's running fine. But so there's there's four bolts, one, two, one on the back, and then that one right there behind the sensor, I can't reach it. But that's the one I broke. I didn't break it, I just broke the threads, the aluminum threads inside of this. I got went too tight. So that that one right there is so what I'm assuming is got to take this whole damn pipe kit off, like I said and re-drill that and you know put it put new threads in it or something i don't know yet um we're gonna find that out but i'm not hiding nothing i want y'all to all know because i don't want it to happen to y'all so i just wanted to kind of pause the video and just say when you're tightening that stuff man be careful don't you ain't got to get that extra turn like you think you do when it's snug it's good now we got the sensor on, we got the gasket on. So let's reach up in here. This is what we unplugged right there, but we'll just put this, it's gonna sit just like this on here. I have to kind of finagle it in there, but it'll fit. There we go. That's more better. It's, I might have to cut. I might have to cut some of this out. I don't know. This some bitch right here is in the way. I can't get it right now. So that I'm just gonna get these nuts started. Anyway, you see that, so I, I'm gonna get all these other nuts started. 
All right, I got two bolts in. I, I, this shit right here is in the way. So I'm just gonna come and cut this off. You see, I already broke some off. I'm just gonna cut it off. That way I can move this pipe where I need to move it. And then I'll figure out what to do with this stuff later. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna cut this. I just pulled this up. And I'm gonna cut this plastic, get it out of my way. All right, got those got those bolts on there. Now I'm gonna plug this sensor back in on that. And then I'll take this one and we'll drop it down and tighten it with the four bolts. I'm just gonna do that off camera because it's pretty simple. And it's gonna have a piece of, well, I guess I should show you that first. It's gonna have two clamps with these. Running out of daylight here, boys. Uh, so this will this will slide on there. The other one's gonna slide on that. So I'll probably I'll probably slide it on this way first, and then slide it back over. So anyway, that's what I'm gonna do. Shouldn't be hard. All right. So I got that finagled in there like that. Hope y'all can see. And then we'll just slide this. I'll take this off and go back around in a minute. So now this got to come up. I'm just getting these holes lined up down here where they need to be. A little bit too far. There we go. All right, now I got that lined up. I can go ahead and put these in off camera. All right, got those four bolts back there tightened. You're gonna have to use this. You can't get no extensions or nothing really back there. Uh, and you gotta reach around behind. I can't film that, but same way you took them out, you kinda got the same way you put them back on. Now all there is to is just some of tighten these up. And uh, tighten them up. And I'll do that one off camera so I can use both hands and move these out of the way. And then uh, we'll run the I think it's the charge pipe, or I don't know what pipe that is. And then we'll run this other one right here too. All right, now we gotta take this off. I've already loosened it, it's seven millimeter. We're gonna take that off and put it on. And then this is gonna be the last part. So let's take this and put it on there. I'll do that off camera. All right, so I've got that back on there. And now we're gonna stick it in. So. Click. Fight this a little bit. Get it on there. There. Now we'll just bring these clamps back up and tighten this sucker back on. Okay, we'll do it off camera. All right. Now that we got that. This right here. This end's a lot bigger than this opening. This opening goes down, down there on that. So I'm gonna put my my clamp on this put it down there and tighten that clamp up okay do that off camera because i really can't get a camera down there but this end's bigger it goes to the pipe this end goes down there all right i got that on there now i'm gonna run run this tightener down on it and then i'm gonna run this pipe down and through there okay and then this last coupler right here i'll slide on here and it joins the two together so then we'll be good to go and also this sensor that we unplugged earlier right here uh, This is the CAC sensor. I'm just going to tape it out of the way like zip tie it up We don't we won't we won't plug that back in So before I forgot about that. Okay. I had to take this off from down there. I'm gonna put this pipe on first And then I'll put that on down there, okay? I might have to go get that silicone spray for this. Come on, bruh. All right, I'll put this on. Oh, 
but don't let that clamp fall off. Alright, it's on there all the way now. Come on, freaking wires everywhere. Shit. I mean. Just know I got to move this down. I have like 3% left. I'm trying to save it, but that's all in there. I got to tighten those two clamps and I'm going to do my damnedest to slide this down. If I have to get some silicone to put on there, I'll film it. But if not, just know that I'll take this up out of the way. I'll slide this down, put these clamps on it. So good to go. All right. I was able to get it back far enough, I think. Now, I should just be able to fight this down and up in there. So, good to go on that. All right, put all the clamps on. Also, this, I just found out, this uh, charge air sensor right here, I've got to take it out of the stock housing. I don't even remember where I had it plugged in. I think, oh, right here. I gotta take it out of here and plug it in and zip tie it out of the way and that should eliminate any um, engine. Uh, come on, Colt, check engine light. But if it does, come on, you just gotta get a tune revision. No big deal. Also, uh, you, can, you can reuse this factory one or you can take it off. You have to reuse that one, I was mistaken. So I might one day take this off, but I'm not doing it tonight. But I got this in the truck right here, or I got this in those straps right there. I'll just uh, save it and put it in the back of the truck. Or if I ever just get bored one day, I'll put that on. But I'm not doing it today, I'm, I'm running out of daylight. Um, so yeah, you don't have to use this end, but you have to use, reuse that end. So all I've got to do now, I've got those tights clamped, tightened up down there. Had to use a long impact for one and then this flexi flexi one for the top one now i'm just gonna put these on and i need to take i need to figure out how this comes out maybe it just pulls i don't know all right we'll see all right so on this sensor right here it, it was stuck in there okay there was a little clip right there i just got this screwdriver and flipped it up and broke the clip and it pulls right out so there's nowhere for it to clip onto anywhere anyway so I'm running out of daylight, trying to hurry, but this is gonna plug in to this and I'm just gonna zip tie it out of the way, okay? I gotta put the two clamps on and then we'll crank this thing up. Well boys, got those on. Got this plug plugged in. Everything's on down there. Straps are tight there. Straps are tight here. This is on, tighten that up. Going to the turbos on. I think that's everything. The only thing I can do I could do now is just uh, change that up, but I'm not doing that tonight. Y'all can do it if you want to. I'll just carry it on my truck as a spare. Unless I get a lazy day or something, I want to come out here, but my hands just don't had enough for the last couple of days. I'm, I'm over it, but it's on. It's all that matters. And uh, we'll go crank this thing up here and see what she does. I might, I might have to do a performance video or finish this video if we're gonna do performance later. Um, I don't know. We'll, we'll see when I get all this crap picked up how late it is. But that's pretty much everything. It ain't, it ain't too bad. It, it, I ain't, it does take a good bit of time. I think I started at 1.30. Now I'm also filming stuff, trying to get the perfect angle. If I wasn't filming stuff, it'd probably be a little bit better. Um, one thing I did do that when I... I'm just going to tell y'all. These, those four bolts on that and then four bolts on there, I was tightening them, tightening them with this. And that back left one, I got them all tight in that back left one, I was tightening it. And I heard pop. I said, fuck. I thought I like cracked a head or something. Well, I can't get that back left bolt to tighten now. So I'm either gonna have to get this uh, little hell coil thing that's the same size as these bolts. It's just a hell coil, so it'll tap it as I go down. Um, 
I can't pull that out, but I have to twist it out, but it's not super tight. So I'm gonna go see if I can order one of those Helcol bolts and let it tap itself as it goes down in. If not, I'll probably have to take that off and re-tap it. I don't think I can really get on it right now. I'll, I'll find out tomorrow, but I can still drive it and everything right now. I just, I just don't think I wanna get on it too hard. I wasn't gonna say that. Well, actually, yeah, I was gonna say it, but I don't have proof of it when it happened because I said, hey, I'm just gonna tighten these bolts off camera there and there, and it snapped. So when they're tight, just snug them up. Just snug it up. Don't keep going because you'll strip, you'll strip the thread out through it. But uh, I don't think it's gonna be hard. I'll just o order one of them uh, the hill coil stud things. And it's the same, same studs. Everything is the bolt that that, that came with it. It's just gonna tap it as it goes, and it'll, it'll be fine then. I don't think it's a big deal, but I'm just gonna tell y'all when y'all tighten them, them eight bolts. There's four there, and then four on that side. When y'all tighten them, don't freaking he-man them. Just get them snug. Cause I, I, I guess I don't really think I was going that hard, but shit. So when you got guns like that, it's everything's easy. But just be careful with them back bolts right there. Um, so I think that's everything. I'll zip tie this up out of the way here in a minute. Pick up all my tools and uh, just before dark finish. So I'm happy with it though. But like I said, you can re you, you can reuse this one or you don't have to if you don't want to. I just did. I was having trouble getting this off. And I was thinking I had to reuse them both, but you just have to reuse the one with the little O clip, that little ring. You can use, the kit comes with this end, but I'm gonna just leave it. So we'll see. All right, so picked up the truck. Uh, he called me, he, he didn't have to, to re-tap it or, or anything like that. Apparently the threads or the bolts that came with this kit were shorter or I don't know if they're the same length as factory bolts or not. I just know he said he got a, I think the ones that come with is an is a M6 inch and a quarter. And I think he said he got an M6 inch and a half. So the threads went deeper than was the bolt that I had. So he just got a longer bolt, same thread pattern put down there and it had plenty of threads to catch it. Uh, it's running fine, everything's good. Um, I have been having a terrible boost leak somewhere and it wasn't like this till I brought it to him. I don't know what all they did, um, but <sighs> I don't know if you can see down here as it goes in to the, to the intercooler. Um, uh, see, come on right there. So you see where that oil's at down there that slid off earlier a while ago and I put it on tighter. I just got, I think I'm gonna have to take it off. Maybe put some hairspray around it and get it tight. But there was a big boost leak right here when I picked it up. I'm assuming he, he know, he had to take this off to, to, to do the bolt before he realized maybe the threads were in there. So it's, it takes some finagling to figure out, you know, and I ended up putting this on too. Uh, I thought I was filming, but I wasn't. You'll have to get over it. It's simple. You just, it just took me a little longer to pull the other one off. Um, but it, I've got a boost leak, but it's only under like major boost, like anything over like 25. PSI, or I don't know if it's PSI, anything over 25, the boost, it's, it's got a little leak and it was really bad. And I'll put a clip in this video. Maybe I'll splice it in right here. It won't be filmed in horizontal. It'll be a smaller video, but you'll know what I'm talking about. And it was like super annoying, but you know, what I'm probably gonna have to do is it, the one I have now is not bad at all. I, I can't even hardly hear it. We'll go for a test drive. Maybe, maybe I'll, I'll let you hear it, but um, I'm, I'll probably take these off here. You know, I might drive around another week, let it let it sit up tighter, and maybe it'll get you hot and clamp down to it better. But if not, I hear you take them off and you spray hairspray around them. Uh, sorry about the wind. Spray hairspray around them, and that will help it stick. You know, I don't know or, or not, but that's what I'm gonna do if I still have the leak and I can't find it. But I know I'm gonna have to get that on a little bit farther, closer to the intercooler. But as far as the truck, oh, the power is incredible. I, and I mean. It feels more responsive to me. Maybe it's just because I did all this hard work and I want it to. I don't know, uh, but it does feel better to me. Um, it sounds amazing. Like just in low speeds now, like creeping around a parking lot or something. You'd, I'd hear it mostly on like a Duramax or something. I didn't, my, mine never really whistled that, but I also got a muffler. But I got that whistle now out of the cold air and it just sounds badass in the parking lot or going slow. But we'll try to ride around and see if y'all can maybe hear it. And I'll try to boost up on it and see if y'all can hear the, uh, the 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 boost leak but i doubt you can but like i said i'll throw a clip in here somewhere in the video that shows it but now 
remember in the video when I was putting this, this Y pipe on here, it wouldn't fit right here. So I just got a pair of dikes and I cut it. Well, that, that looks like shit. So I'm probably gonna come back. There's nothing under here. I'm just gonna probably cut it right here. I ain't gonna do that on video, but it's been like this for a while now. But I'll probably, like I said, I'll come in here and cut this smooth and then maybe drill a quarter inch hole right here and then stick this, you know, through that to hold it. But, you know, I'll at least flatten this up like it is to make it look better. Um, and I'm, and I'm eventually now I'm gonna do a coolant reroute too, cause this looks terrible, but you know, I'm not a rich YouTuber. I'm just a shitty one. So when I get the money, I'll, I'll do a coolant reroute. We'll video that, but, uh, yeah, we'll go, we'll go test drive it. But, uh, man, it's, it, it, it's a little bit, takes a little bit longer to install, but if you do it in a three part series, like I did the block off, then the CCV, then this, if you try to tackle it all at one time, good God, you have to be there all day, but we'll, uh, we'll go drive around and, and let y'all hear the end result or whatever. And also, um, when I get another camera in front of me, I'll, Put my phone up on the easy link it um you know when I, when i used to idle my uh egt temps to idle were like 401 something like that they dropped down to 350 at idle so it, it's lost 50 degree 50 degrees just in idle and i've tried it you know the last couple days checking i made sure it wasn't cold or hot or whatever it's idling right around 350 360 so it's a 40 to 50 degree drop in the egt's than, than what i had on earlier so that's that's good news i don't know what it is towing or none of that shit i don't I don't even need a diesel. I don't tow up but my damn Ranger right there and maybe a tractor every now and then that's not even mine. So I don't need a diesel, but I don't give a shit. I want a diesel, <laughs> get over it. Um, well, you don't need a diesel. I don't give a damn. I want one and I can buy one. So yourself skank. But anyway, we'll go test drive it. Go around, you know, let y'all hear it. Maybe I can get the whistle to sound. It sounds really cool in the cab, but uh, I just got to pinpoint this little boost leak and I'll be good to go. But uh, let's roll. All right, I don't know if you're gonna be able to hear it or not. I don't have no fancy microphone, but it, it has a, a good bit bigger whistle, like, and at low speeds, at high speeds too. You hear that? It never used to do that. And it's cool, cause like, when you let off the gas, it's still doing it. So it's like, I don't know, it's just, my gas mileage is gonna go to shit now, cause that's all I'm gonna be doing. But I don't care. <laughs> It's cool. So let me take a left here. Uh, I might have to splice this video. I don't know how slow these people are gonna go. But, all right, so. I don't know if you can hear that whistle. It sounds pretty legit. But. Spots is it's really good. It's 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 fun for sure. I'll try to roll the damn window up, stupid. I'm gonna try to see if y'all can hear the exhaust, the, the boost leak in here somewhere. Uh, it was only when I was getting. It was really bad earlier today, but I, I fixed it for the most part. Um, let me let me gas it. You hear that? That little. I can't even hear it in here. So, I mean, like I said, if you, you got a, a boost leak that was bad like mine, you're going to know because it sounds like, it's just like, I don't know, like a, mo a woman moaning or something. Yeah. And it's like, oh shit, that ain't right, you know? But it's a terrible analogy, but that's the first thing that came to mind. Um, <laughs> but I'll, uh, like I said, I'll come in here and try to, uh, let me see if it'll do it now. It was just a little bit right there at the beginning. You probably couldn't hear it, but anyway, you know, moral of the story. The some bitch truck is running, I mean, it's running slick, son. It's it's firing the frog and twice as fuzzy. The some bitch is running good. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I love it, man. It's uh it makes it funner to drive, it's 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 more responsive. The whistle, like, I don't know, I never had that whistle before. I mean I had a little a little exhaust, pshh, but nothing like the cool little whistle, you know. It's just fun to drive now. But, uh, man, I don't know. Well, it's just badass. That's nothing else I can say about it. You know, I don't know the horsepower increases or whatever, but I do know my AGTs went down 50 degrees idling. So that's got to help something, you know, um, but hell. And, you know, when I was my buddy at work today, uh, 
we were ha when I was gassing it, it was like super loud and, and I could hear it. It was like right somewhere under there. And I, so I knew it was one of those couplers or the one going to the intercooler or something. But you know, if you got the hood up, you can't tell. So it, you know, you get a buddy or something and I, and I opened the hood and I turned traction control off and he sat on my, he stood on my bumper and held on. And I don't care, you, you, you die. I power braked the shit with him onto the hood. You know, so I hit the brakes, turned the traction off, and gassed the hell out of it, bust these 37s over like it was nothing. And then he was looking and he could like pinpoint where the leak was because, you know, he could see and hear at the same time when, I, when I'm driving, all I can really do is just, you know, hear. So, you know, we did it a couple times. I power brake the shit out of it. He'd find where the boost was leaking and I'd kind of mess with that boot and tighten it or whatever. You just got to get it to, you know, it's going to take a little finagling, but man, once you got it, you got it, you know? And like I said, if it keeps giving me some problems, I'll get the hairspray and put on there. But, uh, you know, long story short, the install wasn't too bad. And you're going to be happy with it. Maybe we can get to bounce off these trees right here or something. Who knows? I mean, who knows? You can't really hear it. But, I mean, I guarantee I'll bust these 37s over like it ain't nothing. Maybe I ought to just try it right now. There's a car behind me. I hate that for you, lady. She gonna call the cops on my ass. Damn, that was easy. Oh gosh, guy, rolling, son. This some bitch a roll. <laughs> anyway, I'm headed back to the house before this lady calls the cops on me. <laughs>